Good morning, everyone. My name is Daryl. Welcome to Business. In our first story, Industrial and Commercial Workers Union is impressing on government the need to expedite payment plans for ex-staff of collapsed microfinance and savings and loans companies. The receiver has announced the payment process will begin this week, but the union says no work has been done. Secretary General of the ICU, Sulmon Kote, at a press conference called on the Bank of Ghana to release funds to pre-finance the payments. According to the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union, the receiver for the microfinance as well as savings and loans companies had signed an agreement with the union on behalf of the former staff of the various institutions but failed to follow the terms of the agreement. Some of the former workers are yet to receive their provident fund and welfare contributions which are part of the exit package agreed with the receiver. General Secretary of the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union, Suleiman Kote, described the inability of the receiver to make the payments as disappointing. Assuming you have an interface with one of these workers and they tell you their problem and look at it that we signed this memorandum of agreement in December last year. Okay, how many months now? Seven months now. Wherever they had gone to borrow to make sure that they survive, they have said, oh, in the next few weeks, because that is the message we are having. So we said that the excuses to the unending payment schedule is our problem. So assuming that the pre-financing that the Bank of Ghana is going to do, they have received the money and they have scheduled the payment, that could have been the good news. But as it stands now, those statements, and a particular one that really hurt us the more, was that payment will be arranged in the coming weeks. That makes it open. Nobody knows when. Hence, we feel as a pressure group, this is the time we must let them know what the individual Ghanaians, okay, who too know for of this, what they are going through now, so that we could have a, a good year. On his part, chairman of the Coalition for Collapse Savings and Loans and Microfinance Staff, Solomon Donko, told Joy Business that the effects of the coronavirus is adding more burden to the applied. Uh, since August last year, most of us are home. Um, our savings also have been used to offset loans that we had. So the little savings that you had that you could use it to do something, that one has been used to offset your loan. And then, um, as we are all seeing the COVID-19, additional uh, expenses that you have to incur because of this disease. In some instances, both husband and wife have been affected. So the hardship is just too much for us. The union is calling on government to fast track the payment process for the former employees or they will take appropriate steps in the coming days. Other news, German development agency GIZ has allocated 110 million euros for emergency COVID-19 support. The agency is expected to allocate a further 130 million euros before the end of the year. Meanwhile, uh, the GIZ, together with Resilience Against Climate Change Program, has donated personal protective equipment worth 400,000 Ghana cities to 14 districts in the Upper West, Savannah, and Northeast regions. Join us as uh, correspondent Rafiq Salam has more. Northwest team leader of the market oriented agricultural program, MUAP. Dr. Andrew Herbert before presenting the personal protective equipment worth 400,000 Ghana cities to 14 districts in the Upper West, Savannah and Northeast regions to help contain the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic, explained why they are supporting such a venture. Now, COVID-19 started impacting the work that we did and we do uh, in this area from around the middle of March, when because of COVID-19 mitigation measures, we could no longer hold meetings or trainings with large numbers of people. And we were forced to put in place a rotation system uh, for our staff between home and office, which disrupted our normal working patterns. We've been very fortunate, I think, in the northwest of Ghana with relatively few cases. And I know of no one actually amongst our staff or partners who has tested positive for COVID-19. However, we cannot afford uh, not to be vigilant and not to take mitigation measures seriously. Narrowing the situation to Ghana and to the northwestern part of the country, Dr. Andrew Herbert noted that though the number of confirmed cases are relatively low, they need not rest on their oars, and hence they need to donate the personal protective equipment to those areas. I'm honored then as the team leader of the market-oriented agriculture project in northwest Ghana in collaboration with the Resilience Against Climate Change project REACH 
to be in the position of formally handing over to 14 district departments of agriculture, regional coordinating councils for Upper West, Savannah and Northeast regions, what is in excess of 400,000 Ghana CDs worth of COVID-19 PPE. It comprises 5,020 reusable face masks, 212 gallons of alcohol-based sanitizer liquid, 3,236 200 milliliter containers of the same hand sanitizer liquid, 304 jumbo size rolls of tissue paper, 1,120 dispensers of liquid soap, 189 infrared thermometers, 102 Veronica bucket stands that are equipped with bowls and Veronica buckets, and 100 foot operated washing stations, and also to sensitize 5,229 posters. So let us hope and pray that with the use of these items amongst our partners, none of our partners contract COVID-19, and we contribute also towards a situation where we continue to record very few cases of the disease in Upper West, Savannah and Northeast region, or better still, none at all. Why Municipal Chief Executive Isaac Utairu Mumin, who received the items on behalf of the Upper West Region Minister, Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali, thank GIZ and the European Union for the kind gesture, pledging that the items could be put into good use. And there is a need for us to put our heads and efforts together to slow down the effects of the pandemic in the region. And that is why we have to welcome the support from MOA in terms of providing us with the PPEs to support the farming activities in this region. That whatever donations that are being made today will be put into good use and we make sure that it gets to the right people for the objective of the donors to be achieved. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wa. And that's it for business forces up next.